Who here is behind on their Goodreads challenge? Who here is five books behind their Goodreads challenge? Me? I am. I have not been reading as much as I normally do and it's very upsetting and the Booktubeathon is starting on Monday the 18th of July. That is today. So we're going to do it. I'm going to show you my TBR. I am not sticking to the official challenges because I'm a bad person. I'm sorry Ariel if you're watching this. I'm messing with your system. But I need to read graphic novels, okay? <laughs> I hope I can read all of these. I really hope so. I'm gonna try my effing best. Okay, so two of the challenges I'm actually gonna do. One is read a book that you found through booktube. Uh, my friend Stevie was telling me about this. She works at Orion Books, so she very, very kindly sent it to me because she loves it so much. So this is set in a very bizarre dystopian England where lust and sin are kind of displayed on your skin in the form of smoke and like soot. So when you have like sinful thoughts, you kind of, you give off smoke and it's obviously very very looked down upon and it's really bad. I've read the first few chapters and I really like it so I'm definitely going to continue this. I'm going to try and finish it during the Booktubeathon. Thank you Stevie, you are a legend. So the second challenge that I'm going to fulfil is the read a book after sunset. Only after sunset. So I have chosen Becoming Unbecoming by Una. This is set in 1977 while the Yorkshire Ripper manhunt is occurring and it follows a girl called Una who was 12 years old um, and she finds herself at the receiving end of violent acts that she feels like she is to blame for. So it follows the theme of gender violence and shame and blame and social responsibility. And I've heard really good things about it. So I'm super excited for this. And I just love how it's put together. It's so interestingly illustrated. And I think it's gonna be a really good one. I'm super excited. So this one, I'm going to read after dark and I will definitely let you know what I think. So the last one is the cheat one that doesn't fit into a challenge, but I wanna fit it in and I wanna read it. So it is Fun Home by Alison Bechdel. So it follows um, kind of the relationship between a woman and her father who has recently passed away and the fact that the woman is gay and she had just recently discovered that her father was gay and it kind of explores that. So it's kind of like a dark humor, um, family tragicomic is what it's called. So I'm just really intrigued. And a readathon is the perfect time to read a graphic novel. So I'm gonna read it. So those are all the books that I am planning to read during the Booktubeathon. I'm very excited for it this year. Um, it's gonna be a good full week of reading. Also, I will be running some Twitter sprints again on the Booktubeathon Twitter, so I'll link that down below in case you need to follow it. So I'm running a Twitter sprint 5 a.m. EST, so I know a lot of you will probably be asleep, but it's 9 a.m. GMT, so it's 9 a.m. in London on a Sunday. If you wanna do some early morning reading with me, come on down on Sunday. If you are taking part in the Booktubeathon, please let me know what you're reading. I would really like to know if you've made videos, tell me that you've made one and I'll go and watch it because I just love the readathon atmosphere. I find it very motivating and exciting and it's good. So let me know. That's it today. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you next time. Have a good readathon. Have a good week. Goodbye. If you've heard of imposter syndrome, you'll like totally know what I mean. And I feel like I've breathed through this life with nothing but luck.